Welcome, welcome, welcome to my first playthrough of Amazon's new MMO, New World. This is day one of the preview that's just been added to Steam. And I don't really know too much about this game currently, other than it's a bit of a ESO, Guild Wars, Black Desert hybrid. Hopefully it lives up to the hype, but we shall see. Right, let's play. I only have one character in the Raided Hills. Okay. Wow, okay, so that's probably one of the best intro cutscenes of an MMO I think I have ever seen. Um, certainly making me ask a lot of questions about the lore and the, the world as a whole, which is pretty sweet. Okay, on to appearance. Let's make a male. Can we make a bearded dude? Which one looks the most like me? Wait, what? Okay, so that's a it's a bug right there, but that's fine. <laughs> let's let's go for that, shall we? Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, okay, maybe it's just the face and the skin. Okay, I get it now. I get it. It was randomly selecting a skin tone. Hair style. Alright, so because of COVID, my hair is pretty long. Not that long, though. That's like the full on Karen hairstyle. Can we get like a. an un, unkept long locks? Let's see. <laughs> That's cute. Let's go for that, why not? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh wow, that's a nice shade. Sure, let's go for that. Oh, facial hair. I didn't even see that. Um, there it is. That's what we want. That is the official COVID look that I am rocking pretty much at the moment. Very lumberjack. Cool. Character name. Oh, I just brought up the Steam overlay by accident. Name is in use. Alrighty. Um, Lord Aether. Give me the side eye of, uh, really? Calling me that? Okay, interesting, um, interesting start. Very. Um, what was that Conan the Barbarian MMO called? I don't remember now. I think you, you kind of start off like this. And, um. Oh, the Vexile, <laughs> again. <laughs> Stranded on a beach. Man, this is a pretty cool way of conducting a tutorial. The items in your inventory by pressing tab. Okay. So can we just like right click that? Oh, I have to drag it. Equip the food. Light rations. Cool. easy enough. Well, so far it seems very smooth. Obviously my PC is pretty high spec. But, um... Optimization wise, obviously there's no one here at the moment, but optimization wise it seems pretty nice. Right, uh, escape the ship graveyard. Okay, right. So it's kind of... Dark souls -y. Like a lock on or anything? Doesn't seem so. So, I've read quite a lot of complaints in terms of the combat not feeling fluid. And honestly, I think the combat feels more realistic than most MMOs, you know? So, like when you do an attack, you have committed to that attack as if as if it was real life, you know? Like real real physics. You can't just uh spam your hack and slash buttons and be done with it. You 
can quite easily get hit. What's that do? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh dear. I've been roped. Alright, let's go up here. That's nice. Nothing worse than trying to, like, you know, spam jump to get up a uh, cliff or whatever. with heavy attacks. Ah, oh, right, yes, of course, of course. Nice. Okay, purchase upgrades. Straight sword. Oh, nice. So I can spec into my shield or my sword. Let's go for the sword. And that is on Q. Okay. Nice. Oh, auto run. And it's on equals. I'll have to rebind that, I think. Wow. Look at this jungle. See, I don't even have this game on max either. It's on, like, um... I think high. Looks good though. <laughs> Descend into the grotto. Alrighty. What a scene though. Do anything, or is this just a torch? Okay. Very clever use of lighting. Look how like quickly that scene changed, you know? Serious case of heartburn. Whoa! <laughs> like obviously, it's it's laughable to compare this game to Dark Souls, but. See where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> oh, I've used my spinny slash. Oh, okay. I guess it's not really worth it on single targets. Understandably. Like, not a lot was explained to me then. I just kind of... Killed a dude. And appeared with everyone else. Right, to the watchtower. You're not one of those filthy drowned... You made it through a red stall and still have the glint of a soul in your eyes. I've seen so many lost now over the years. So many. That's an interesting box you're carrying. I might know someone who would like to get a look at it. But first, take these boots. <laughs> you won't last long in Aetonum barefoot. Well, that's, that's very kind of me. Please. 
that but um, all right so did i get a new weapon then um no i guess it's from oh right yeah i got boots didn't i I see, there we go. Cool. Upgrade available. Hmm. Well I suppose I've just I've just dawned on me that um like I've not chosen a class or anything, so I guess you kinda just spec into whatever whatever you want. You can make your character a mage or a uh, full on barbarian just with stat allocations and talents, which is cool. Like old school. Uh, I think we're gonna go for... Let's just go strength. Let's just... Let's smack. Smack some mobs. Alright. I don't like... I'm assuming like people are leveling up or whatever, but it's kind of annoying to hear that. Personally, but... I guess because everyone's so low level. Flint. I've got one flint. I don't like flint, but that's fine. Landmark charted. I see. Okay. Cool. All right, how big is this map? Is that the whole map? Doesn't seem. Wait, that goes off into the. That goes off into the distance. Maybe this isn't the whole map. I can see the paths. I hope it's not the whole map. It doesn't seem very big. Uh, I think we both got. <laughs> not a flag for PvP. Well, good. Oh, what must this be doing here? Uh, kill drowned. Do I like tag this? No. Supply crate. Let's see. Oh wow. Flat bow. Oh, nice little piece of lore. See a dude. Oh, maybe this guy just killed him. I kind of want to try out this bow, actually. I wonder if you need um, ammo. Yeah, I see a, a zero. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh. Alright. No archery for us. Just kill this guy. That was easy enough. Alright, let's go hand this back in. Yeah, I do have a very Age of Conan kind of feeling about this. I'm not sure why. I feel like this is the game that they intended the uh, the Conan MMO to be. All those all those years ago. Level three. All right, upgrades. Okay. Uh, no more attributes. Oh wait, sorry, I did have I did have an attribute. What about weapon mastery? Oh, 
Ah, okay, so you level up your individual weapons as well. And that's how you get the, um... Uh, the skill allocations for her, I'm assuming. That's cool, I like that. Craft a flint skinning knife at the watch's campfire. Okay, let's craft. Ah, I need some more, I need some wood. Got a wood from a nearby bush. Alrighty. I'm assuming when it says bush, it actually means I oh, know. Cool. Uh, right. Crafting. Skinning knife. a pretty cool crafting system, kind of satisfying instant gratification. Alright, investigate the marked area on your map. Alrighty, look at this dude. Hello there. Pick up some more pieces of wood, just in case. I wonder if that's from a tree being like chopped down and it like growing again. That'd be cool. More infestation. Hunt boar. Well, it's nice to see that MMO quests haven't really deviated too much over all of these years. Like, I feel like having a... Having a boar killing quest is a bit of a meme, isn't it? Oh, I can skin it, like proper skin it. actually takes like a significant amount of time as well which is I kind of like if I'm honest. Slate 5 tracking and skinning I see. Tree. Ah yeah yeah so you can fully cut down trees if you have an axe. So I was right yeah I guess I guess this is it like potentially growing back or something. That's pretty sweet. Let's kill another boar while we're here. Well, it's not doing much, it's kind of... Why can I not hit it? What? Okay, well, you deserve to live, sir. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sky is very clear. I hope that's uh, a coincidence, rather than it always just being perfectly blue with no um, with no clouds. Town project started. Okay. All right, let's go hand this back in. Uh, 
Oh, cook a, a light ration at the campfire. Health recovery. Uh, light ration. Yeah, I do apologize for kind of just spamming straight through these quests, but um, again, we're on a we're on a bit of a limited time frame for this preview. So I think I just got a hammer. Oh no, I'll get a hammer from the next quest. Be interested to see what the hammer's like. Grab some flint, you never know. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, it'd be really awesome if uh, if all areas could could seasonally change, um, rather than it just being like a perfect sky or whatever, like in in, in like a certain zone. I'm a big fan of torrential rain and uh, snowstorms and stuff. Sandpaper. Fantastic. <laughs> Actually, I don't even think I managed to hit him then. <laughs> it's so odd. Oh, right, two out of three. Okay. Um, oh, a little unresponsive then. But, uh... I wonder if that's more of the server struggling now that more people are getting online. But I guess we'll see. Town project server upgrading outfitting station to tier 3. Is this guy gonna interrupt me? Yes. I guess we got the answer to that question. <laughs> I have to say though, like, considering these are, uh, you know, low level mobs or whatever, you really feel like you get hit. Which, uh, which is a lot different than uh, the, the average MMO, that's for sure. I wonder if I'm able to disable this town project starting spam. Much of Black Desert, where, um, like when you first log into Black Desert, you just get so many obnoxious notifications that, like, someone's put a tier 8 horse on the uh, marketplace or whatever. Someone's gone to war with someone else. It's like, oh man, I, I don't care. <laughs> oh, flint arrow. Well, if I have a... Whoops. If I got arrows, I kind of want to test out a bow. Do I need to put the... Arrows? Ah, you put it in an ammo slot. Alright. Let's see. Let's see how this feels. Can we find a mob that isn't getting... Eviscerated. No, no. Oh, <laughs> um, well, I'm not quite Legolas, or well, maybe I am. 
No, maybe I'm not. No. Nope. I mean, in my defense, he was knocking him back. <laughs> gotcha. Is that a... Okay, cool. Ooh. Man. Looks like it does some serious damage. Alright, what am I even doing again? Kill and search the drowned. I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Did that do a type of flamethrower? What? All oh, right, so it's a staff. Okay, that makes that makes more sense. Man, I feel like so Viking with this hatchet. Such a great. Okay, more crate searching. Uh, yeah, the the bow. Sorry, I kind of got a bit sidetracked there. The bow actually feels really good. If I'm honest, um, just thought I was quite bad at it. And obviously, trying to shoot um, a mob that's getting hit by someone else with it, kind of getting knocked back and stuff, made it a little bit, a little bit trickier. All right, let's go. Let's go strength. Weapon mastery. A uh, couple more kills, and I'll be able to get an ability on the hatchet. Oh. Uh, where are these crates? Is that a crate? No. Ah, uh, hello, sir. Hatchet Mastery 2. Alright. See what we have here. Berserk throwing. Huh. That's pretty cool. I'm obviously gonna go to Berserk though. Triggers a Berserk mode that increases attack damage by 10% for every hit received. Berserk mode will be active for 15 seconds. Interesting. Damage is increased by 10% for each successful consecutive light attack. And increased damage of light attack by 30% against targets lower than 30% health. Well, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, we've got two respawns here. Hmm, I think... I think I'm going to do Relentless Fury. Right, what was I doing again? Okay, yes, crates. More crates. Oh, I can zoom out a bit, I didn't realise. That's a bit better. I don't see any crates. I wonder if they're, um, despawning. Oh, that sounded like a musket. Ah, oh, that's a crate. Yeah, assuming musket ammo. Um, isn't too difficult to acquire or craft. I can imagine muskets being pretty powerful from what I've seen so far. Hey, you! Oh. 
I should have taken the Berserk Talon. I could have gone absolutely ham. Hatchet Mastery 3, that was very fast. What? Hatchet kills restore 20% of your maximum health. Uh, I mean, that seems... That seems good. Is there like a waypoint system or anything? I hope there isn't, if I'm honest. But... <laughs> Territorial stand. Strange. So I guess that's like reputation. All oh, right, cool. So this tells you um, where to, like, what areas you need to go to to pick up certain materials. And I imagine the. Um. Like, the more that you level up, you get to see, like, additional tiers. Pretty sweet. I have to say, though, going a uh, full hatchet build with 20%, um... Returned health on a kill seems, on paper, seems pretty good for leveling, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> ah, the Warhammer. Oh, I can have two weapon sets now. And how do we swap between those? Ah, yes, I see. Oh, so you can't, you can't have a shield up with a hatchet? I mean, I understand not being able to do it with a, with a hammer, but... Ha! Huh, felling the trees. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I think they need to work on their physics model a little bit. However, that was pretty cool. A lot more interesting than, you know, uh, like a tree just disappearing once it's been... What's... Older? Oh, I guess that's, uh, like mining for ore and stuff. This is a serious hammer, by the way. Hello, black boar! We meet again! I was honestly expecting this hammer to do more damage. But I suppose I've not leveled it up or anything. Although, I haven't done my heavy attack yet, have I? So what's interesting in this game, uh, from what I've seen, is that depending on what kind of armor you have will limit your maneuverability, which is pretty cool and, you know, realistic, right? So if you want to be um, super agile, then Wearing like, a, I guess like cloth or leather allows you to do that. But if you just want to be like an absolute tank, then I suppose um, plate or the equivalent in this game will be what you need to do. Search crates. Um, I'm not enjoying the amount of crates that I'm supposed to be interacting with. I hope that's just for this kind of starting area or whatever because uh, I think that'll get old quick Kadonk That's right, that was a Kadonk Hey you! Oh, there Um, let's see. Ah, 
I really like the lighting effects in this dungeon. You, um, I mean, is this a dungeon? I guess, I guess you could class it as a dungeon. Cave. Ooh, level six. Leveling speed seems pretty decent as well. Not too much, not too little. I don't know if you guys that are watching have uh, a headset on or anything. But those musket shots, they seriously resonate in my ears. <laughs> God, dog. All right. Um, so it's gotta be strength. Or oh, hammer. Let's see. What do we have here? Juggernaut and crowd crusher. Perhaps this is more of a tank. Uh, tanking one, I suppose. Um, I like increasing. Oh, increase grit damage by all Warhammer attacks by twenty percent. Let's just go for that. Right, we need to get out of this place now. I, miss. I kind of assumed it was going to be a bit of a loop, but I think it actually is. You just go down, down, down until you get to the end. So now I'm going to have to go back, back, back. I have to say, as, as much as I am enjoying these animations, I do feel like... The Warhammer needs to do more damage. Considering its size and prowess. It does help if you actually hit them. Because <laughs> if I spam my light attack, I feel like... It doesn't do any more damage than if I was just spamming my hatchet, for instance. But perhaps it's more being able to kind of break through shields and then do follow-up damage. Or perhaps it's more tuned at max level, which, you know... Would make more sense. Let's have a look at. Whoa, that was a bit odd. All right, all the way back to watch a. Uh, Reese, and if he gives me another supply crate quest, I'll be a little bit sad. Open the map. Okay. I can see some forts now. Wait, hang on. Governed by pirate gaming. Okay. It's pretty cool. Similar to Black Desert, I guess, like, uh, 
guilds can control nodes. I wonder if they end up kind of claiming taxes and and stuff. I would imagine so. Okay, so we are off. Off to the east. Uh, I don't think we can beeline it actually. Because of those cliffs. Or white hair. <laughs> God, it's, it's like the invincible ball. There we go. <laughs> I think I'll go back to my hatchet. Not a fan of the clipping, especially with starter equipment. I should be easily tested, right? <laughs> Like, I understand that must be a bit of a pain in games like this, but... Hey, yeah, like Lavender. Oh, bit of a frame rate drop there. I wonder if this is because we're... Oh, I was about to say because we're moving into another zone, but... We're not really. Get the pig! Interesting noises. Ah, that's a pretty cool windmill. Seems like a lot of mobs. What the hell? <laughs> a wild turkey appears? Can I skin you? Nice. I feel like technically it isn't skinning, is it? But you know what I mean. <laughs> Camp tier one. All oh, right, yes. That you craft. I wonder if someone put that there. That seems. Although there is like a little thing in front of it. It seems like a really weird place to have a campfire, but... Yeah, and, and there's one here. Maybe, maybe you can uh, make your own campfires. Seem to be getting a few audio skips. Oh, what do these question marks mean? Oh, right. Uncharted. Landmarks, I see. Ah, Turkey, we meet again. Gobble, 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 gobble. No! No! Gobble, 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 gobble. Got him. Why does that guy have a thing above his head? Oh, isn't that that? I've seen that somewhere. Yeah, it's there. I guess that's the uh, pirate gaming guild clan. Perseus. It's a very stoic name. Alright, people need to chill out with the campfires. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so... 
Ever full Hamlet. This is the first. Oh, here we go. Property tax, trading tax, crafting fee, and then I didn't see the other piece of information. So this is our first um, hub, I guess. Our first town, our first little hamlet. Very nice, very well constructed in terms of um, aesthetics. And you can purchase these houses for 2,000 gold. Enter house menu, let's have a look. Can we enter? All oh, right, can just like walk in. Have a look around. Nice uh, path, nice fire. Getting a bit more frames dropping. But, um, dropped the item. I can literally just. <laughs> my arrows. Oh my word, that was really loud. Did that guy just teleport out? I just straight. Yeah, what's. What is that? Apart from being a complete racket. <laughs> this is cool though. Like, aside from the frames dropping and yada yada yada. This is a medieval hamlet. A small medieval town. And it feels like it. It really does feel like it. Look at that, you've even got the, uh, <laughs> you've even got smoke coming, coming from the fire. I think. Is it coming from the fire? Look at that. There you got a, a messy bed. Shimmering chest. Like, this is cozy. I am a fan. I am a big fan of this. <laughs> Man. Musket players, stop it. Alright, let's see. Yeah. With people actually playing, this place feels very, very alive. And I know that's kind of obvious, right? But I think if a like a hub or a town doesn't have character, even when you chuck a bunch of people in there, it still, you know, feels a bit dead. Anyway, <laughs> I got a bit, a bit sidetracked there. See, I like this. I like just being able to open up a map and quite easily just hover over stuff and just know where I need to go. Alright, let's pop in here. Greetings, traveller. And now my standing is increased to newcomer. Awesome. Open the trading post. Um. Oh wow, okay. So I guess this is the equivalent of an auction house. My orders. Interesting. I wonder if you can um, set it so that if someone lists an item at a certain price, you can just automatically buy it. 
That'd be pretty cool. Two handed weapons. Oh, an uncommon. It's a good point, actually. How much gold do I even have? 162. Give coin. Can we send to any player? Why well, do you even have to be near them? That's so. Weird feature, if I'm honest. All right, um, yeah, let's go strength. Why not? I'm sure I'll regret that at some point. <laughs> Bio. Lord Aether. Action none. Okay. Continue the story to choose a faction. Interesting. Uh, where are we going now? Oh, another upgrade available. Oh, right, sorry. You have one unspent territory selling point. In Everfall. Oh, that's cool. So the more you uh, play in a certain area, the more benefits that you get. Uh, I'm not really gonna bother with any of these, so I guess I'll just pick this one for now. Obviously for the actual game, I'll likely pick something different. Just to interact with you. I'm confused. To be fair, though. Oh, checking out the end to set a respawn. But the actual, the actual objective is over here. So. Oh, now I can do it. That was odd. Cool, alright. So, if I die, I will respawn at that end. Wait, why is it telling me to go over... Oh, recall to end. Just soon. Why is it still sending me over there? The waypoint seems to be a bit confused, but that's fine. We'll go back over here. Wait, visit the storage shed. Okay, so from looking at the map earlier, I'm pretty sure the storage shed was there. It seems like the waypoints have bugged a bit. Literally is a shed. Good. So, how does this work? I can just check anything. Is there a faster way of. Oh, shift left click. Okay. I love how everyone's complaining about the combat. 
when uh when everyone's like obviously super low level like imagine imagine basing uh an mmo's combat off like the first hour in terms of like depth or or whatever like like a world of warcraft for instance you know Full standing rank increased. I am a fan. I am a fan. Talk to Overseer Lewis. Right. Is the waypoint gonna send me to the right place? Looks like it is. Just realized it's got dark. That's awesome. Not the best uh, night sky in the world, but we'll take it. Still the moon, and that is one bright ass moon. I want to see some rain. I want to see some snow. Give me rain. Give me snow. Oh, glowy. What is this? sure what this is exactly but uh it reminds me of one of uh, is it oblivion there's some quest in oblivion i think where you have to visit a place at midnight and it glows or maybe that's just like every elder scrolls game but anyway i get i get sidetracked quite a lot with uh <laughs> shiny objects Settlement has need of stone, wood, and rawhide. Okay. I guess this is going to be teaching more about the uh, basic gathering professions. Hey, I've got all the <laughs> all the rawhide I need already. So it wasn't a waste killing those boars. Um. Oh, so it, it it literally just like throws you throws you out and being like yeah just go gather some wood, go skin some boars, go mine some boulders. God, oh. Honestly, it, it really does sound like they they legitimately just got people with big hammers or pickaxes and just recorded next to a boulder. That is resonating so much in my headset. Oh, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> Although, you'd assume that I'd get a lot of wood from this. You know, being a... Room tree and all. Timber. Well, that seemed a little more realistic. Especially compared to the... Okay, I'll, I'll take that back. That one just... <laughs> went all over the place. Why is it spinning? There we go. Apart from it, like, floating at the end. So did I actually get wood from that? Oh, I did. 
So you didn't have to like chop it up or anything or, or uh, pick up stuff. Oh no, screw this. Let's, let's cut down a big ash tree. Pretty impressive cutting a tree down this big with a tiny, tiny axe. I need to find some boulders now. I think I, I walked past someone that was flashing on some boulders. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Is that a... Oh yeah, sickle. Um... Oh, that's not a boulder. Does this count as a boulder? It does! God. Cool, that's a lot of stone. Sweet. Well, that was fairly painless, so let's see. Well, we can run through people, that's interesting. Oh, no, you can. Okay. Ah yes, I upgraded my territory standing with ever fall again. XP gain. Nice. Certainly be taking that. Level eight. All right. Why, why is my camera bouncing? <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> there we go. Craft timber, craft stone, craft coarse leather. Alright. Ooh, another upgrade. Let me see. Wait, where's the upgrade for? Oh, sorry, it's an attribute. Whoops. Oh, it even tells you there as well how much um, additional damage. Well, how much damage, but when you um, allocate another stat, it'll go up and down. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I think for a first video, I'm going to stop it here. Got to level 8, which, you know, it's fine. Feels good. Doesn't feel too slow, and doesn't really feel like you're, you know, max level in, in two hours or whatever. Um, I think I'm gonna give like my full thoughts throughout the whole whole game, probably towards the end of my my main playthrough. So uh, yeah, for now, thanks very much for watching, and um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and check out the next one. Peace. Take it easy.